So are you telling me I can't do my job? I'm sorry, but the thing will get specific instructions. Are you on duty tomorrow? Yeah. Why? But I just like wondered if you got the briefing on the lockdown. Our Royal Highness has never yeah. complained about it before. I'm sorry. It's just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazim. Sir, I understand. You can't handle it. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood. Twist. Swanky place, huh? Oh, yeah. I can get you. Welcome! Welcome. Hello! Oh, Good Mr. Kazim. You. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Have a lovely day. Listen here, pal. I'm sorry. Please. You're not getting through. Go in and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram. Time to see. Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. 
I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, onto the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer-winning freelance journalist. He's good, and won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass balls billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. Number 47, Ingram wanted a photo of him eliminated. Now, personally, I don't care if he's just sleeping, but he needs to look dead. Have a nice day. Have a reliable source that the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali is keeping a secret upstairs. You don't talk much, do you? Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right, whatever it is, better be good. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like sh shooting fish in a barrel. Yo, man. Sir, if you want to get through, I'm going to have to pad you down. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. 
Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Looking good, man. Looking good. Hi there. Mr. Cassini, so good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Cassini. Perfect. I'm sorry. We have Please Ingram right where we want him. Yeah, just remember something. 47, Please make you know what home. to do. Have a drink, see the view. Something to behold. Please stay back. Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance. Hands now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant. Right big boy. That's right, Knight. Carl Ingram finally gets what he deserves. Good riddance. Now let's get Marcus Stuyvesant. Oh, hmm. Mr. Kazem, you need to listen to me. Follow me and don't get sidetracked. Greetings, sir. Look, this is gonna make me look really bad. I think what I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Come on! Yeah. Whatever!
Sir, we have word that he's arrived. We're just waiting for him. Okay. Right there. You must be That's Marcus escort. Stuyvesant. Providence partner, self-entitled and arrogant little worm. Trust you will do your he might duty. not look like much, but he's done more damage to the world. That's good. Oh, I like it. A cutlery expert, no less. I have no idea what that means. But your CV is very impressive. This looks perfect. Come on, let's walk. I need to tell you a bit about what I expect from you. I expect you to be by my side 24 7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of today, course, sir. permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important and delicate meeting today, at which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. You're almost here. You have to understand. I didn't. You see these? What? Where the hell are the shooting targets? I already took care of them. Well, I don't know how you figured out there'd be a test, but I'm impressed. That's exactly the kind of initiative and dedication I'm looking for. I think we'll get it on just fine. You okay. gained his trust. I I got the right man now. What to do Thank with you for all that power? I'll take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. You really did. But let's get to work. Some things you should know about me, and this is very much on a need-to-know basis. I am here incognito. So I want you to stay close, but not too close. Especially when we are out in public. If you see a man with a bodyguard, it draws attention. Understood? Yeah, of course you do. Come on, follow me. We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over.